Welcome to The Sun Today for the 29th of March 2025. The Sun has decided over the last couple of days to put out a lot of flares, though mainly C flares, there's still a large number. And so we seem to be moving into a period of higher activity. That level of higher activity is first reflected by the number of sunspots, which is now up to 120 or so. If you compare it with the level of sunspots exactly one rotation ago, i.e. the same face of the sun towards us, it's almost exactly the same level. So there's been no development or uh, decay in that area, or at least not very much of it. There were no new sunspot regions coming on the sun, so the growth in the sunspot number is actually a growth in the regions that are there. Flare activity, as I said, has been high. We had 11 more C flares today, six M flares. There were no X flares, and we had nine CMEs, which is also an increase. The solar wind speed dropped to about 350 kilometers per second. Taking a look at the sunspots, we have seven regions on the disk. Their area had increased to 810 millionths of the surface of the sun, which is more normal. Most of the sunspots seem to be in the northern hemisphere, but there are a couple of fairly large regions in the south. 4047 is still developing, and 4048 is just coming over the southeast limb and looks fairly substantial. The increased solar activity is not reflected in the activity around Earth. In geospace, it's been relatively quiet. The KP index has been dropping from 3 to about 1. And you can see that the auroral arc shown here on the right is much weaker than it has been of late. This is the X-ray emission as measured by the GOES spacecraft. You can see all the M flares there on the uh, plot, plus a lot of smaller C flares. The X-ray background has also increased to the equivalent of a C2 level flare. We'll now take a look at the coronal mass ejection activity. There were six CMEs recorded by SOHO. And I'm going to show you a LASCO C2 and C3 movie to see the CMEs that we did get. Now the tricky part of this report, the to forecast, I suspect the sunspot numbers will continue to rise as those regions become more visible. A high flare rate will be maintained. The solar wind speed will remain low. So we're not expecting any new geomagnetic storms in the next day or two. Once again, thank you for listening. If you enjoy these videos, please pass them on to friends or neighbors or relations who you think might benefit from understanding more about how the sun works. And so until next time, stay safe and goodbye.